Welcome back. I am continuing my series called X, Y, and you. And this morning we're touching on a form of cancer that's usually more common in men. That's esophageal cancer. So it's estimated that in 2019, more than 17,000 people will be diagnosed with it. A majority of them men and the survival rate is grim. Esophageal cancer is the seventh most fatal form of cancer among American men. Uh, but our story this morning is about a woman who is showing us all the power of a strong will to survive. It's a very primal kind of sport. Competitive sailboat racing is one of Shannon Damasio's greatest joys. If you're a water person, it's it just kind of calls out to you. It's good. At 43, you could describe Shannon as a fighter, both on the water and off. I was trying to donate blood. There was a blood drive at work. When they took my blood sample, they said, you can't donate blood, you're severely anemic, and you should probably go see a doctor. No one suspected it was cancer, but it was cancer. Shannon, a mom of two young girls, was diagnosed with stage one metastatic esophageal cancer. Let's go over the ones that you did last, last week. week. Dr. Wendy Mahone Johnson is Shannon's oncologist. They looked great. She says doctors are seeing more cases of cancer in the lower part of the esophagus, where it meets the stomach. With esophageal cancers, oftentimes there may be uh, symptoms of difficulty with swallowing food. Have you take a deep breath. Why? Because of food choices and acid reflux, which changes cells in the lower esophagus. Okay, good. Lucky for Shannon, her cancer was caught early. She went through chemo, radiation, and surgery. My surgery was January 30th of 2018, and June 1st, I competed in a major regatta. And at that point, she had early stage esophageal. We had hoped that she would be a long-term survivor without disease and cured. But treatment didn't wipe out Shannon's cancer. It was a, a shock and very scary, because um, now I'm stage four. She went from stage one to stage four in a year. She does understand that her cancer is incurable. The only option now is to manage it, which she's doing with immunotherapy and additional chemo. You feel like you did all the right stuff. You went through all the treatment, you went through the surgery, you recovered from it, returned to life. And so it's almost like getting a second chance kind of stolen. But then you get back to it and you fight it and you keep going, can't stop. A fighter in two races. Here comes your pressure, pressure's on. Keeping a winning attitude. It's shifty, but we stayed on them. On both fronts. We got first. These are the moments we live for. And so if you stop doing those things, I think the cancer wins. Now here's the deal. Shannon did not have symptoms. So if you are experiencing some of what the doctor described, please make an appointment. Go get checked out. Uh, she is in clinical remission, by the way. So doctors say that her scans don't show any evidence of cancer. So that is a good thing. But of course, as we saw, she's still undergoing treatment. Gosh. Yeah. Very raw there. Very real with mm -hmm. how that was. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah.